What's up y'all? Today is going to be a natural hair video. I'm just going to strictly be doing a natural hair video and giving you guys like an update or mini update on my real natural hair and all the things that I've been going through with it. Um, now I am kind of doing my hair because I do have to film a video later where I am installing a U-Par wig. But this video is going to be strictly on my natural hair. I'm supposed to be using the Olaplex hair rescue kit i didn't realize that it had the shampoo and conditioner in it i've already shampooed and conditioned my hair currently i do have this macadamia nourishing repair mask on my hair it is for medium to coarse hair texture I definitely needed a deep conditioning and i decided to use this today i really love their line it has macadamia and argan oil in it i feel like that oil and coconut oil works really good on my hair when it comes to you know like moisturizing your hair i feel like you definitely have to figure out what hair oils work best with your hair type your hair texture and i feel like those three oils definitely work the best for me anyway when it comes to moisturizing my hair so i currently have this on my hair and it's been on my hair probably for like since i got out the shower probably for like 15 20 minutes now I have to go pick up my nephew from school. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wash this out and then I'm gonna go ahead and use Olaplex, the intensive bond building hair treatment, the number zero, and then the Olaplex hair perfector number three. It says on the back to first, use the Olaplex um, number zero, the intensive bond treatment, and then put a little bit of the hair perfector, the number three, on top of it and leave it on there let it sit so I think I'm just going to go ahead and wash out this deep conditioner and then I'm gonna add this and then when I come back I'll wash it out and then I guess I'm probably gonna either straighten my hair I don't know if I'm gonna straighten my whole head or if I'm just gonna straighten the portion um, that I'm gonna have to leave out for this you part wig video but more than likely I think I'm gonna straighten my whole head because I'm probably just gonna be wearing my natural hair for the the next week or so just to take a break from wigs because I have been wearing wigs for a while Okay, so it does say that your hair should be damp whenever you're spraying the Tiff Bond hair treatment, the number zero. I don't really like how it sprays out and it's like all just shooting out. Um, so definitely be careful when you're spraying this. You don't want to get it all over your wall and everything. Y'all, this smells so freaking good. Like, mm. from what I can smell. Cause y'all know I haven't completely got my smell and taste back still from COVID. And I had COVID back last year in September, um, like right before my birthday. And I was the only one who lost my taste and smell. So I still, like it's still very like faint. And like, even like when it comes to like eating and like, even when it comes to like my smell, like certain foods, like dairy products, they smell like weird. But it's like I can smell a little bit, but it's not as strong and, and certain things do smell kind of weird, but I can smell this and it smells good, so. So I'm back and I just washed that out of my hair. It was in my hair for probably like 45 minutes to an hour. I don't even think it's supposed to be in there that long, but I just got back. So of course I don't expect any product to just give me like, you know, instant results. But I can definitely tell is my hair is super soft after washing and rinsing that out. It doesn't feel dry and crusty like it does after, you know, like how you normally wash your hair. Um, sometimes your hair can feel like super dry. So now I'm going to blow dry my hair. I blow dry it. Now 
That literally took me five, ten minutes just to blow dry one side of my hair. Hey y'all, she's all blow dry, ready to go. It took me like ten minutes just to um, blow dry each side. And I didn't have to have a tug of war with my hair. Just, you know, it it glided through my hair easily. My roots could definitely use some more straightening, but I'll get that with the with the flat iron. One thing about my hair, it doesn't matter if my hair is damaged, breaks off, I have to cut it. Like, hair is still thick. It always remains thick. You know, I already had to get rid of my length, so I'm glad my hair is still, you know, has some thickness to it. Okay, y'all, so I was gonna flat iron my hair, but I forgot I had the time loss straightener, and I feel like this will be quicker and definitely reduce the time that it takes to flat iron my hair. So I'm going to be using this. Okay y'all, so I used the time mode straightener, but it did not get my hair like straight like I wanted it to, so I just went back over it with the flat iron. This is the side where I used the time mode straightener, and this is the side where I went back over it with the flat iron. It did get it straight, um, but it's still like kind of poofy, and I need it to be like bone straight. The left side of my hair is done, I just gotta go back over it with the flat iron on this side, mainly my roots. I feel like you can get your hair straighter with the time mode, but I'm kind of like in a hurry. So I just kind of went back over it with the flat iron lightly, you know, one, one pass with the flat iron. Okay, so I did have to cut, I don't even know how many inches of hair that I got cut off, but as y'all can see, my hair is a lot shorter than what it was. A few months ago, I did have to get my hair cut off. Um, I was trying to refrain from having to do like a, a big chop or having to cut my hair off. Just because I feel like, just because, you know, your hair is breaking off or somewhat damaged doesn't mean you always have to like do the big chop or just kind of completely start over again. Because yeah, it's just hair on the grow back. But it does take a little while for, for your hair to grow, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm impatient. So, at first I wasn't going to get my hair cut, but I did let her go ahead and cut it because it was looking kind of crazy. Like, the right side of my hair was way longer than the left side of my hair. So I was like, you know, I can't really wear my hair down here in a ponytail without it looking crazy. So I just decided to go ahead and get a few inches chopped off and then we'll start back over. And then I can really show you guys, um, because I know someone had commented that they wanted to me, for me to make a video on how I grew my hair out. Um, of course, pregnancy was part of that, but I think it was also what I was doing to my hair um, while I was pregnant because my first pregnancy, my hair did not grow as much as it did this time around. So I think it was a mixture of that plus what I was doing differently that I wasn't doing before. And I feel like now that I'm having to start back over, um, I can really like show you guys what I was doing. And I'm not gonna lie, these past couple of months, I've had so much stuff going on. I've kind of been neglecting doing what I'm supposed to do when it comes to like a strict routine. Uh, I honestly wish I could show y'all pictures of my hair before I cut it. I might see if I can find some in my phone, but honestly, I was so sad and down on like all that work to grow my hair and then for it to break off. I was honestly just so sad. Barely took pictures, but I might see if I can find a couple of pictures, couple of videos or whatever. And I apologize for the screaming. My, my son is in there tearing it up. He's in his high chair freaking playing and screaming. So don't mind him if you hear him in the background. But yeah, I really barely have any, any, any photos. I was super kind of down and upset so yeah we're starting back over as y'all can see the length of my hair now which i still feel like i have some length but of course it's not as long as it was before i also haven't put a texturizer in my hair in a while but i honestly think i'm due for one just because, like, you see how I flatter my hair? My hair is still, like, thick. Really thick and really poofy. 
that's how I know I need a texturizer. Like my roots are super poofy and super thick. And when I use a texturizer, it definitely relaxes it to where it's not so poofy anymore. And I can definitely get my hair straighter when I do want to straighten it. And when it's curly, it's not super thick and puffed out. I haven't put a texturizer in my hair probably since, I know definitely since the summer of last year, I haven't had a texturizer in my hair. And I didn't put one in there purposely because since my hair was breaking off and I was experiencing all of that breakage, nothing good would have came from it if I would have put that texturizer in my already damaged, broken off hair. My hair probably would have broke off even more. Um, only use something like that if your hair is in good shape. If your hair is damaged, stay away from any any type of chemical. You get your hair back in um, proper shape for you to do that because if not, it's just gonna break it off even more and make it even worse. Yeah, I really didn't have a lot to say. I just wanted to let you guys know, give you guys an update on um, my hair, my hair journey, me cutting my hair and kind of starting back all over. But I did want to say I did like using this, these products, the Olaplex. Um, I didn't use the whole kit, but next time I, I definitely will. My hair is super soft, so I do like those products and I definitely will try them out again. Next time I will try out the whole kit and, and see how I like it, the shampoo, conditioner, all that. But until next time, until the next video, um, I will talk to you guys later.